people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. I am often asked by people whether they have entities upon them or negative energies and most often they do. Uh, so although I have done a video about this, I wanted to go into a little more depth in this video about what negative energies are, how they affect you, how you can tell you've got them and how you should remove them. So this is banishing negative energies using witchcraft. One of the most beneficial ways that you can remove negative energies from yourself is by improving your mood. I mean, it's that simple, isn't it, really? If you improve your mood, it improves the flow of your life force, your prana around and through. And one of the best ways to do this is by using our sponsor, Aura. And here's how they'll be able to help. Aura is a new mindfulness and wellness app and it is used by over 7 million people. It won the Best of Apple Awards and has thousands of meditation stories, CBT, life coaching, breathability and spirituality content. So this is created by thousands of expert coaches in varying parts of the world. So there is always someone online for you. Now, those of you who know me will know that I'm not a great one for meditation. My brain works at 15 million revolutions per second. And so meditation doesn't really help to calm those thoughts. But what I do use it for is very briefly to help me to order those thoughts. And so I can just spend some time with them, work them through, and then get on with my day. And that is where I find the Aura app has been really useful for me. Aura is offering you 25% off and a free trial if you use my link, which is on screen for you now, and I'll put in the description box below. So do have a go. But this is only for the first 500 people who sign up. So get in there quick. Try their 30 day meditation challenge and this can raise your positive vibrations, relieving those negative energies that you might have collected, which I now tell you a bit more about. So thank you Aura for sponsoring this video. Right, with that said, if you haven't used Aura to get rid of your negative energies, let's discuss how you might do this using your own particular specialisms. But we've got to understand what we're dealing with. There are different types, of course, of negative energy. So let's have a quick trot through the varying ones. There are many different types of negative energies, but we're going to deal with the three main ones that are the most common and I come across on a pretty much a daily basis. The first one is your own negative energy. People can go around building up their own negative energy and storing it. So when you are suffering from, say, low mood or anxiety or whatever the problem may be, the negative energy runs through your body and then sort of dissipates out into the world and you get rid of it. But some people don't do that, and quite a lot of people don't do that, in fact. What they do is they like to store it. And they'll store it either in their chest, their tummy, on the back of their shoulders. Some people can store it in that whole upper body. It very much depends on the person, but it's not good. You know, this therefore makes you feel as if you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And in fact, you can often tell those people who've got negative energies on them because they're going around like this. So honestly, it looks like they have put on the weight of the world on their shoulders and they're just a bit... You can feel the shoulders come up, the defences go in, because they're trying to protect themselves subconsciously from the negativity that they're carrying around. The second type of negativity that you might carry around is somebody else's. Now, this is incredibly common, especially amongst parents. Parents look at their child who's going through whatever their child is going through, you know, bullying, say, or having a hard time, or just being a teenager and shouting at them, depending on the child. Not that my children ever shout at me. They're only ever terribly grateful that I'm their mother and, and so happy that I do videos on witchcraft on the internet. That pleases them so much. However, if they're all feeling a little down and I have to stop myself doing this now, and because it's something that people do subconsciously, is to remove the sadness or the negative energy from their child and hold it with them. 
People also do this for their loved ones and their friends. It is a sign of an empathetic person and it's a really sweet sign. If I find this kind of energy on other people, they are naturally very kind people and I like them all the more for it. It is quite common and you might do it. If you're the sort of person who lots of friends come to and cry on their shoulders all the time, you'll often find that you might take that person's negative energy from them. And you can store it wherever you like. Most people do store it on their sort of shoulder area and the back of their heads. However, you can store it anywhere. I knew someone who used to store it in their hands. And this caused them to have physical repercussions because they were storing negative emotional energy. And it was a really interesting correlation. And then the third type, which is the worst, which is a negative entity. And this is difficult to get rid of. I normally take them off people. I'm very good at this and it's something that I can do. You can take it off yourself, but we'll go into that a bit later on in the video. So those are the three types of negative energy. Your own, other people's that you might have taken from them because you're so kind, and negative entities. The first thing that you need to know is, is, are you carrying around this negative energy? Well, if you are feeling constantly under pressure, under stress, low mood, nothing's working, it's all going wrong, then yes, you most likely are. In fact, if it's that bad, you're most likely carrying a negative entity on you. And goodness knows, that's horrific. I carried around a negative entity for several years and at the end of those several years decided that unaliving myself was the only option that could go forward. I was on antidepressants, I was with therapists, I was at my doctors all the time saying, I really don't, you know, I don't want to be here, I'm, I'm done with this life. It was only witchcraft that I actually managed to find, not the source of the problem, but the exacerbating issue. And so once that was removed, I was able to heal and to get better. And now I'm very pleased that I'm still alive. I'm very happy. I'm quite perky now. So the first thing we're going to do is make a cleansing concoction. So those of you that know me know that I love and adore roses. I love the smell, I love their look, I love their sight, I love their sound. I only need one rose, just a couple of petals really. To this I'm going to add a sprig of lavender and a couple of leaves are fine as it's not in bloom yet. I would suggest that you use whatever is most appropriate for you. So I love roses, so that's what I'm using. As ever, we start with a quick cleanse of the working area. To this, I'm going to find some essential oil to add to this carrier oil. And I like roses, so of course we're having Rose Otto, one of my favourites. Again, I suggest you use whatever you find appropriate. If you've got some essential oils and citronella and that's what you like, then use that. So I'm going to place this all in a copper bowl to steep and it's quite a simple spell really. Just take a carrier oil and I'm using a good quality but light virgin olive oil. To this, we're going to add the petals of the rose. as well as the sprigs of lavender leaves. Add into the mix a couple of drops of your favourite essential oil. A good clockwise stir and mix will ensure that they're all combined beautifully. And taking your wand, this is where the magic happens. I draw a pentacle across the top of the bowl, forcing this intent into it. A pentacle sigil is all about protection and cleansing. Because I made this in a copper singing bowl, I can now bong it in order to get the vibrational energy going. Finally, add a lid to it and put it to one side to steep for a couple of hours and then you can decant it into a small bottle and label. 
You would use this cleansing oil when you feel as if the weight of the world is on your shoulders. What's so simple? I can either burn it in an oil burner, I can rub it on my skin, I can massage it into my shoulders. And that is what I'm going to do with the intent that any negative energies that I'm carrying will be dispelled. And I promise you that that will work. Next, I'm going to show you a shield of light spell. This is simply to fortify yourself and so that any negative energy that is not your own will be banished from you. It's a really good spell to do when you're feeling under attack, enabling you to heal the damage caused by those negative energies. It's incredibly simple and I do advise doing this once or twice a month just to ensure that you're in tip-top condition to face the world. Sit in a chair and light some candles. You can light them all around you if you prefer, but I am happy with just lighting them to the front of me. Connect in to that light and pull the light and visualise it surrounding you and taking over your aura and making you as bright and light and clear and shiny as possible. This will form a shield of light over you and this shield of light is really going to protect you. Sit with that shield of light for a couple of minutes once you feel you've absorbed the light and the brightness of this energy, you can go about your day. And that is how I recommend that you try and banish your negative energies. There are plenty of other rituals that you can do and I'll put my video up here for you if you'd like to follow any of those. This is something that I do recommend because it's about embracing positivity, isn't it? It's about taking care of your soul. Believe in yourself and believe that you can change it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it's free. And there's very few things in life that are free after all. And I will see you next week. <laughs>